everyone! We're back with a highly requested video showcasing how I prepare Winnie for travel by airplane and the actual traveling on an airplane bit. Um, after I posted my road trip travel with Winnie video, I got a lot of requests for this. Um, so I'm going to show you. It was, um, I filmed it right before we went. I'm just putting her down because she doesn't want to be up there. Um, right before our most recent trip to Utah, my uh, in-laws own a second home in Utah um, that Winnie and I are welcome to go to whenever we want. We go a lot with the family, but we go a lot on our own as well. And it's nice to travel with your dog to a house or to somewhere where you can leave things. Like, for instance, this house, I have all of Winnie's things there, so I don't have to pack for her necessarily. Now, if you want to see how I pack for Winnie when we're going somewhere where I don't have all of her things, you should watch that road trip video. I'll try to remember to link it below um, because I show everything I pack for a hotel. Um, but this video mainly focuses on how I get her ready for a trip, including, you know, when I take her to the vet because the do dogs must have a health certificate like within seven days of your um, first flight, your initial flight, um, to be allowed on the plane. Um, you know, when I get her Sherpani bag out, that's her travel bag, to like let her know she's coming with, that sort of thing. I have a whole process for it. Um, so that's basically it. And I took footage all the way up, you know, from a couple days ahead through the actual travel day when we actually arrive in the uh, at Salt Lake City Airport, which is the airport we fly into when we go to Utah. So Winnie is a seasoned traveler. She's been traveling since she was, I took her to Utah for the first time when she was four and a half, five months old. No, wait. Yeah, five months old. So this is not, not our first rodeo. I mean, she's been doing this several times a year you know, for the past three years, and she's a pro at it. She's super good on the plane. People ask me all the time, um, you know, is she good on the plane? She doesn't make a peep. In fact, most of the time, as we're walking off the plane, somebody will comment to me, either, you know, like a flight attendant or a passenger will say, oh, you have a dog? I had no idea. She's so quiet. And that's because she's really good. So, um, I'll tell you all the things I do, and I do them every time I fly with her so she's comfortable. I'm really, really big advocate of having, um, you know, set things, uh, ways you do things for certain, you know, possibly stressful things like going to the vet or going on an airplane. If you do follow the same like set of actions every time then your dog is comfortable, structure, having structure makes things more comfortable for your dog. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to get to the footage. I just filmed with my little handheld camera, like little clips. So um, we're going to take you through and then we'll see you guys at the end. Hi, Bunny. Are you sleeping under mommy's desk? Okay, guys, I'm just starting to get Winnie ready for our trip. We're traveling to Utah, like I said, so there's a little less prep involved. And I do it a little closer, too. It's two days until we leave. And I have a little checklist. This was a list I made last time I was in Utah because I have a lot of Winnie's things there already. This is just a list of things that I needed to bring with me this trip. And I've already checked everything off. That means I have it ready to pack. It doesn't mean it's packed yet. It just means it's ready to be packed. I didn't pack it yet because I wanted to show you guys. So as always, um, I make a list of things I need to stock up on that I've run out of at our house there. So shampoo and conditioner, or treats that she gets after a bath, um, and some bands. And then her medicine, the Sentinel, is... Um, you know, her heartworm medicine. I bring that fresh so it's, you know, fresh because she takes it the first day of every month and will be there over the first of August. So I have everything laid out. I always bring bows. I don't leave any there because I like to have all of her bows at home most of the time. But I just have this little container I got at the container store a while ago. If I can find it, I'll link it below. I like it because it's got different kinds of organizational things in there and you can take them out or put them in a different way. And I'm taking about 15 different bows with me. We're gone for almost three weeks, so she'll wear a couple of them twice. But a lot of these ones that she can wear as doubles or as, 
excuse me, or as singles, um, like these kinds up here. And then a lot of little bows. I, I don't bring a lot of her bigger bows like these. I'm just bringing a couple of her like bigger, nicer ones. You can see because it's Utah, she gets really dirty there. It's so dusty and um, sort of a, like a rough and tumble kind of vacation. So there you go. I have some extra bands, new ones we're trying out. Um, some new Benadryls for the plane. Winnie gets a half of an adult tablet which is um, 25 milligrams, so it's like 12 and a half milligrams. Now that was vet recommended, that, that um, amount. Always ask your vet how many milligrams you should give your dog. It doesn't knock her out, it just makes her a little less um, stressed at the airport. Like I said, I have one Sentinel for her and four bath bones to stock up on. And I'm taking these scissors to leave there. Um, I have really nice Chris Christensen ones that stay at home, and these are the ones that I had bought for Winnie before I invested in those Chris Christensen ones, and I never use them now, so I figured I'd just take them and leave them, um, you know, at the house there since I don't use them quite as often. And I did today trim her paws and her bottom as well as shave down her belly, um, so that's all done and ready to go. Winnie! Should we go get your bag out and show them your bag? Come on. Now this would be around the time that I get out Winnie's bag. When she's traveling with me, I like to let her know as soon as I start packing, and I started packing today, and also we're going to the vet today. So I have her Sherpani travel bag right here. She knows exactly what this is. She loves her bag. It's her favorite thing. She's going to want to get in it immediately. You can see, just a minute. Okay, and we'll open it up. And she likes to just sit in it while I'm packing or when I'm doing stuff in this room. Watch out, baby. You can see she goes right in there. And <laughs> she squeezes herself in sideways. Nobody knows why. But she has a few toys in there that are just for that bag, just for travel. They're not for anything else. Um, I recommend doing that, um, especially when they're young, bringing toys that they're really, really familiar with, but then leaving them in, the, in their travel bag and having them be their travel bag toys. Now, I do keep a lot of things for Winnie for travel in the back for a bag including obviously a tag with information on it as well as a whole bunch of other things. So, um, oh, there goes my phone. Oh, this is hard to do one-handed. I think that's pretty much everything. Okay, so I'll just go through this really quickly with you guys to show you in this little baggie. Um, oop. Okay. Well, I can't show you, but in this little, because it's got my personal information, I have a copy of her rabies certificate, as well as, which includes her like rabies tag number, or whatever that is, as well as a copy of her health certificate. Now, I'm going today, we're going to the vet today to get that, so she doesn't have that just yet, but I'll put that in here once we have that. Um, and I've also written on the front of this bag, Winnie's name, what kind of dog she is, how old she is, um, how much she weighs, my name is her owner, and my cell phone number. So that is in there separate in the back. And then I have this little bag that I always have in the Sherpani, no matter where we're going, in the car, on the plane, whatever. And this just has some essential travel things in case of emergency, mostly. I have a little tiny leash here. One time I forgot Winnie's leash and collar. And Don had to run out to Walmart right before our flight and get one for me. That was the best, you know, I mean, we didn't have that much time and he made it just back in the nick of time. And I can actually use this as a makeshift collar and lead as well by um, clipping it around her neck. Now, I wouldn't recommend to do that all the time, but it's an okay, you know, in case of emergency thing and it's really thin and light, it doesn't make a big deal. I have one set of her paws. She wears a size small, I believe. The orange are small. They're color coded by size. You know, in case it's like snowing or raining or icky and I need, need that sort of thing. I have a little baggie full of poopy bags just in case. I usually have them in my actual carry-on as well. As well as some wet ones, um, antibacterial hands and face wipes. A long-haired dog, if she gets sick, um, 
from either end. I'm sorry if that's too much information. This just really helps to clean it up. You can see I've actually used quite a bit of these on travel and I'll probably need to buy a new one. And then I have a handkerchief, similar sort of thing in case I need to clean her up, that sort of thing. This is what I keep um, backup Benadryls in just in case. Um, and I've labeled them 12 milligrams because that's how much she takes. It's usually about 12 and a half to be honest. But I'll give her a pill probably about a half an hour before the flight or an hour, depending on when I can have her out of the bag to pill her. I pill her at the airport. I'll try to remember to show that to you guys. I have a couple treats here. Is one of her um, beef jerky, what do we call these? Like a bully stick. And this is um, like, a, like a chew, just in case. I always also have treats on hand, but those usually stay in my carry-on as well. I have a whole bunch of paper towels just in case of necessity. And I actually even have one of her um, puppy pads from when she was really, really little before I potty trained her to go outside. This I've never had to use, but again, it's one of those emergency only situations. And then lastly, I have an extra Ziploc bag in case of necessity for cleaning up or something like that. And all of these items stay in that Ziploc bag in Winnie's Sherpani. She's giving me a look, look at this look, all the time. So we're ready to go at a moment's notice. Are we gonna go to Utah on the plane? Is Winnie going to go to Utah with Mommy and Daddy? We're going to go see the vet very soon and get, and get our check, get our health certificate, so that we can get on the plane and they know that you're safe and healthy. So we're going to do that in a little bit. We'll take you a little bit to the vet with us and uh, check in with you guys a little bit. I forgot to mention in that little bag as well, I carry her microchip information. It has her microchip number on that. That's also in my phone. and on a magnet at our house in case she gets separated from me and also the business card of her vet with their address and phone number in case of emergency. I keep a bin in my closet. I have a lot of these bins if you've ever watched my organization ch uh, channel, Organize Like Jen and see my closet video. Um, I have a whole bunch of travel related bins because we travel so much and I won just for Winnie travel stuff. And a lot of this, these things would be if we were going to a, like a hotel or some place where I didn't have a lot of her things. Whereas, you know, in Utah, she has all of her stuff there already. But I pull it out anyway, even when we're going to Utah, because I usually put things in there that I know I want to bring with me um, to Utah. So I, I bought a new uh, container for her hair bands for storage out there. So I'm gonna put that into this bin, which is my Utah bin, and that's all things that I'm packing for this trip. As well as her Dream On pet blanket. She's had this since she was a baby. What I do with this is I sleep with this. The night before we travel, I sleep with it under my body. Um, you know, on top of the sheets, but under where I'm sleeping. So it smells like me, and then I will line her Sherpani with this the morning that we travel. But I'll show you guys that when we get to that point. So I'm putting that on my bed so I remember to sleep on it. Uh, those are the only things really out of here that I'm bringing. I'm also going to try this, this thing this time to help secure Winnie's bag to my wheeled carry-on bag. Um, it's just easier than carrying her by, you know, holding her bag by arm because it can get rather heavy and it's kind of bulky and I'm going to see if this works. But if it doesn't, you know, I'll carry her. Of course, I'd rather she be safe. So that also will go. And all the rest of this stuff, like I said, you know, I have inserts for her Sherpani and extra leashes and the cover for her soft-sided crate and a bag. And this is her little um, bag of travel toys that we take when we travel with her and we stay in a hotel mainly when we go visit my brother and his family in St. Louis, that sort of thing, where we, t we drive. But I'm, I can put this away now. I just wanted to show you guys that she does have her own separate bin of travel things. Um, but so I'm always ready, you know, with her, with her stuff. Okay, come on, let's get in the car. Come on, come. We're getting ready to go to the vet, our friend. Yes. Go on, get in bed. Go on. Winnie, you know how to get in bed. There she goes. So we're just gonna get ready to go to the vet. I'm gonna buckle her in, and then we'll see you when we get there. Are we here? Are we gonna see our friends? Are we gonna see our friends? Let's get unbuckled, huh? 
Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go see our friends. We're gonna go get our weight taken and all of that. Yes. Waiting for our friends. We're waiting in the room. Are you are you excited to see them? Are you? Do you wanna get down? Okay, you're a good girl. Well, we made it through our vet appointment and got our certificate. And we're peeing. <laughs> Private moment. And now we're gonna go. Yay, good job, Winnie. Good girl. It's Winnie's Wookiee look. Say, I'm a Wookiee. Scream, close up. <laughs> so, here we are. It's the day before we're leaving, and I'm giving Winnie a bath, which is generally what I do um, before a trip. So she's nice and clean. She doesn't really get dirty at the airport because she's in her bag the whole time, so I never really worry about that. So we're going to have our bath and finish packing up her stuff, finish packing up my stuff, and then we'll be all ready to go. Clean bunny. Clean little girl. Well, I just pulled out the suitcases, and Winnie is investigating. And she's going to sit right by while I pack them because she wants to make sure she's coming too. Okay, so it's just about evening now before the we leave tomorrow morning. I do like to travel with Winnie on an early morning flight. I think I mentioned that in the intro. You can see I'm pretty much packed. This bag is open because I have to put some things in last minute tomorrow morning, but I've packed and I've moved Winnie's Sherpani over to be right next to the suitcases so it's like obvious that she's coming with. I just wanted to show you there's a couple things I put in her bag last minute. I showed you the essentials um, yesterday, but I always add a fresh uh, serving of her dog food and I outline exactly what it is. So this is the Wellness Core Original Flavor and she gets a half a cup twice a day. I just put this in today so it's nice and fresh and I'm gonna put it in this bag as well. And it's always good to travel with a serving of food for your dog. Um, you know, just in case you get stuck somewhere. Also, if somehow I got separated from her in her bag and somebody had to take care of her until I could reach her, they would know what she eats. And she's a very picky dog, so she won't eat just like any dog food. Um, so there's that. And then I have her new, um, her updated health check, her, I mean, health certificate, excuse me, that we got at the vet, oh, that's open now, that we got at the vet yesterday. Um, this is actually a copy. I made a copy and I cut it down to size. I carry the original with me in my travel documents because when we check in at the airport, we have to check in at the desk with her and I have to have the original on hand. And this is just a backup copy, copy um, just in case kind of thing. And then lastly, this is a little uh, water spigot, kind of. It's just like the bottom part of one of her water bottles. Um, I bought this somewhere. If I can find it, I'll link it on, you know, below. I have no idea where I got this. It's made to fit with um, water bottles, like you would screw a water bottle into it and then just have it like that. I haven't found a water bottle, actually, that fits in there, but I've actually found that I really like carrying this around when traveling, this is one actually lives in our car most of the time, but I pull it out when we travel. Um, and I just pour water into the top and hold it up for her. Now I know it looks funny and I get some strange looks when I'm holding it up. My mom says it looks like a giant pipe. But, you know, that's what, how she's used to drinking. She doesn't know what to do with a bowl of water or like a cup of water. She wouldn't know what to do. Um, and this is just really lightweight and small and I can just pour into the top from my own personal water bottle water for Winnie and I take take this with us when we're going you know for long walks um, traveling it lives in the car most of the time uh, road trips airplane trips everything and all of this fits really nicely in the back of Winnie's Sherpani and that is our basic prep now like I said tonight I will be sleeping with her pet blanket her dream on blanket which that I will then tomorrow morning put in the bottom of the uh, Shaprani bag, but you'll see that because I'll walk you guys through that, our, our pre-flight steps tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. 
So that's all for today, really. Uh, nothing else changes. She eats normally, she drinks normally, we go to bed normally, nothing's different. Um, but uh, we'll check back with, in with you tomorrow morning. And we're kind of hiding, <laughs> but we'll see you then. Well, it's just after 6 a.m. and as you can see, Winnie is not awake yet. She is not a morning dog. And um, I'm going to take her out for a walk just now. And she's not going to like it all because she doesn't like moving this early in the morning. But then I'm going to groom her and get her ready so we're all ready to go. Winnie decided she's bringing this skunk with her. <laughs> this is actually a toy she brought home from Utah because she loved it so much. It was a Christmas gift. And now we're bringing it back. Now we're gonna go get ourselves groomed. Here we go. We had a nice walk. We gotta drop that now, okay? We'll get it after you're done. We had a nice walk. Now I'm gonna groom her up. I took her for a normal 30 minute walk. And I fed her, but she doesn't really eat in the morning. So she should be fine. She only goes to the bathroom twice a day, really, so. I never worry about her on the plane having to go, but I always take her after we check in. And I'll take you along with us, of course, but we'll hear that thunder. After we check in, I uh, always take her out to go potty one last time at the airport. And she usually takes advantage of that, so we're going to get all beautiful now. Plane, airplane ready. Airplane ready. This is Winnie's flight hairdo. I just put in piggies and no bows. It's a little bumpy. It's always a little bit crimped on um, the day after a bath because when I put her top knot in, even after I blow dry her hair, I don't blow dry her head to fully dry because um, it's too hot for her face and it's not good to have like hot air blowing in your dog's face. Um, so it gets a little crimpy, but that'll that'll come out. The crimps won't stay in for, for forever, but um, rocking the casual look for our flight. Are you a good girl? Did you do a good job? Yes, you did. Should we have our cheese, please? Should we have our cookies? Yes, okay. The car is here and we're just getting ready to go. Winnie's investigating. I got Winnie's bag already. Like I said, I put the um, blanket on the bottom that I slept on last night and her skunk friend. And then I have her leash as the last component and collar in the back. And we're, yes, I know you're ready to go. We're gonna go get in the car, and drive to the airport. And we're gonna go on an airplane. We're gonna go to Utah, I know you're ready. I know you're coming too. You're coming too, baby. Okay, we're ready to go. We're in the car, we're ready to go. I'm going to the airport, yes. Winnie, don't rub your face, Winnie. <laughs> she wanted to get out? What a no. princess, she's just excited. <laughs> just driving up to the airport, and we're gonna go check in. We're in our bag. Yeah. So I'm sorry, it's really loud, but we just checked in. There's the airport. And now I'm just taking Winnie out for one last chance. She might not have to go. She's not the kind of dog that has to go to the bathroom very often. But it's just part of her pre-flight routine. And, you know, lets her get a little fresh air before she's cooped up for a while. So we'll just... Have a sniff, see if we go potty, and then we'll go go through security. And I can't film that part. I'll just tell you what happens. Um, you know, I gotta take my shoes off and, and get my bag all set up. I do all that first and I get that on the x-ray thing first. And then I put her bag up there and I take her out. She cannot have her collar or leash on, and I carry her through x-ray. Now some places don't have the x-ray anymore, they just have that body scanner. She can't go through that. In that case, we get a pat down, and they usually just pat her down as well. Sometimes they make me put her in her case um, and pat me down, and sometimes they have me hold her and pat us down together. And then I put her back in her case, some airports will let you walk around with your dog. Good girl. Um, good girl, come on. And um, some won't, so check with the airport beforehand. 
most airports you have to keep them in their carrier as soon as you're through security for the rest of the time, including when you're on the plane. I just switched to my iPhone, so sorry about the quality, but we're on the plane. You can see Winnie's under the seat. See, see? There's Winnie. She's doing well. She won't make a peep for the whole flight. She's really very good on the plane. And um, that's basically all we do. I'll check in with you when we land, and uh, that'll be it. So, Salt Lake is a dog-friendly airport, so once we got off the plane, I took Winnie out of her bag. And now we're going to go get our bags and rent our car. We're at baggage claim. We're just rehydrating. Drink. Winnie, drink. Yeah, we're rehydrating. This is what I was telling you about earlier. You put the water in there, it's just easy. Most airports will have a place for dog to go to the bathroom. So I like snow, different. Oh, good girl. And uh, we're gonna go rent our car. We have a long drive, long drive to the house. I'll let her sniff, so it's an hour long drive, so give her some air. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I hope it was informative. I mean, I'm not an expert on anything, obviously. This is my first dog, but I travel with her, you know, four to five times a year, and she's gotten really good at it, and I think I've developed a good system for us. Now, that doesn't mean that my system of preparing my dog for travel will work for you and your dog. You have to, you know, tweak things to fit your you know, dog and your lifestyle and all of that. But, um, you know, it's interesting to see other people, what they do and stuff. We're so fluffy. We just had a bath. Anyway, um, we hope you guys enjoyed. I, I'm not sure what our next video will be, but there will be something in the next, in, in two weeks from today. And we hope you enjoyed our traveling with us to Utah. So, we'll see you later. Say bye-bye. Oh, and by the way, on my personal like vlog slash haul channel, My Housewife Life. I'm currently doing Vlogist, which is where I vlog every day for the month of August. And Winnie is featured a lot in those videos. So if you're interested in seeing more Winnie, um, sort of, you know, cameos, <laughs> she's in those videos a lot. Um, there's always a link to my other channels in the bottom bar below. But thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Say bye. Extreme close up of my fur ball. Boo boo. <laughs> bye you guys. Take care.